please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. The big story from the telecom sector, the TRAI, the regulator has called for stronger data protection framework to safeguard telecom consumers' privacy, the TRAI, while releasing a series of recommendations in order to improve data privacy and security has held, that consumers are owners of their data and that entities controlling, processing their information are mere custodians. Ashmit joins us now with more. Ashmit, uh, uh, several crucial recommendations being put out there by the TRAI also very categorically stating that the current privacy framework is insufficient. Indeed, that has been uh, one of the suggestions, recommendations that has been made by the TREI uh, of uh, a one-year-long exercise. This was a one-year-long exercise. TREI spoke to a number of uh, uh, stakeholders. Let's also keep in mind that these recommendations are not binding, but coming from the telecom regulator carry with them a significant amount of weight. But speaking of the recommendations itself, they divided into four subheads. The first uh, subhead deals with recommendations on personal data. Here, the TREI clarifies, at least its recommendation is, uh, that the ownership of the data rests with, uh, with the user, with the consumer itself and that as far as entities are concerned in the digital space telcos browsers apps etc they're mainly custodians here uh, that's one key distinction it also talks about the TREI recommendations talks about how metadata should not be used to identify individual customers and then we move on to the second subset where we talk about recommendations on sufficiency of existing data protection regulations and that's where the TREI says that we just don't have a current framework in place that we need one desperately let's also keep in mind that the Sri Krishna committee recommendations one understands are just around the corner so that is something that is being uh, sought. Uh, it also goes on to say the recommendations that the license conditions that we currently have for the TSPs in the interim for the telco should be extended to other entities as well, such as browsers, apps, etc. It also talks about data minimization, that the company should not take any more data than is absolutely required for furnishing of that particular service. It talks about the right to forget, again, a page out of the GDPR that we saw in Europe. It also talks about how uh, the consent terms should be multilingual, should be easy to understand. It also talks about how there is a need for a redressal mechanism for consumers in case of uh, grievances in case of privacy as well as uh, da data ownership. And finally, it goes on to say that as far as data itself is concerned, should be encrypted at all times and should be very specific instances and only by authorized entities can there be a case made out for decryption. So again, a comprehensive set of uh, recommendations again. Uh, this is just, a, of course, a precursor, all eyes now, on the Sri Krishna Committee recommendations and what they mean uh, for data protection regime here in India. Well, appreciate you joining us there with the recommendations that the telecom regulator has put out on data privacy. Saket Modi, the CEO of Lucidius Tech and senior advocate KTS Tulsi, here with us to discuss this issue further. Mr. Tulsi, let me start by asking you, sir. Uh, you know, uh, you, of course, uh, were one of the advocates uh, during the right to privacy uh, discussion in the Supreme Court. Uh, and the Supreme Court has categorically held that uh, Indians, uh, every citizen does enjoy the right to privacy. But just coming back to what the TR is saying it's very categorically stating that the current framework for data privacy and protection is insufficient now we're still waiting for the Sri Krishna committee's recommendations it will then be up for public consultation then the draft will uh, you know have to go through its checks and balances before it even makes it to Parliament if at all it makes it to Parliament uh, and we don't know if that will happen in this year or whether it will happen in the tenure of this government at all does this not make us very vulnerable Mr. Tulsi of course, it, uh, it makes each one of us very vulnerable. The point is that my phone is part of my personality. It's my personal property. The, the contents of my phone, even the calendar of my phone, the contacts, the names, the f numbers, and uh, the, my relationship with my friends, is all private and personal. They, 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 it's my property. Mm. It's exclusively my property. And the terms uh, on by which consent is obtained are all fraudulent because you are stuck yeah. uh, in, in a particular step. And unless you say yes, it doesn't go forward. So it is, mm. ex it is actually mm. extorted, the consent. And... Um, I, okay. I believe that I, I have not uh, bartered away my freedom, my, my pri privacy, mm. by just uh, hiring a, a service company, a service provider. They are only giving right. me connectivity, but that doesn't mean that uh, my life is in their hands or um, all my mm. 
my private life comes to an end it it, it can't happen like that the yeah. if if right. it is not protected people's lives could be in danger and uh, this is uh, absolutely believe, so you you welcome the tri's recommendations i welcome and i believe that if my problem, if my in data is misused it amounts to theft which is a criminal offense it amounts to cheating hmm. and i also believe it's a breach of contract it's a serious criminal hmm. wrong criminal offense and civil wrong uh, it's a different matter the right? supreme hmm. court has already laid the foundation for this and i'm i'm glad that there is further okay. clarity on this by tri right let me go across now to saket uh, uh, saket Uh, you know these are recommendations that have been put out by the TRAI we are still awaiting the Shri Krishna committee's reports these recommendations are not binding but it gives you a sense and tells you about the direction that we're likely to see being taken forward what is this now going to mean as far as uh, uh, app developers as far as content providers browsers i mean the whole gamut of the tech ecosystem is concerned Shreen, first, I think it's a it's a very positive thing. I mean, as you very rightly mentioned, anything digital is is an ecosystem of a lot of kinds of players. And uh, any regulator talking about cybersecurity talks about how serious this is getting. And of course, seeing GDPR, seeing this, and seeing uh, where things are moving, it it looks very good. Now, to the point of what the TRAI makes, let's understand that TRAI. fundamentally controls controls the telcos which are ISPs which are internet service providers yeah. now if you really think of it they have three categories of super critical information in their own hands when it comes to consumers number 1 hmm. when you sign up with a telco you give your personal details to the telcos your personally identifiable information that is and the custodian of that is the telco itself right. number 2 when you're calling somebody right. you're actually you know there's a there's a data creation the call detail records including your sms's your you know mm. call logs etc etc all of that is also owned by the telco and the third and the very interesting piece is where the geos mm. of the world are moving towards where they say why do we only want to be a telco we want mm. to give a geo world to our users where they can actually access channels yeah. and you know browse movies etc etc and you mm. want to take it one step mm. beyond just being a telco now if these are the only three categories where you can broadly categorize the users of a telco and how the data is being stored by the telco yeah. now when trai says be serious about security is talking about this however the browser and the application no. and the you know right to be no, forgotten no but what about that, the issue what about is, what about the issue of ownership saket what about the issue of ownership you just detailed for us what becomes available to a telco when you sign up with a telco but the tri and its recommendation very clearly saying that the owner of the data is the consumer and the telecom company can only act as a custodian absolutely and this is the three categories of data shireen is what i'm trying to say where the owner has to be the user who's giving that data however the segregation i'm bringing in out here is when you give your data on facebook which is connected through a geo internet that does not mean geo has any role to play yeah. there i mean there geo really can't do anything about it so the encryption standards that needs to be used mm. are facebook call or a, or or a google call or a gmail call but really telcos cannot okay. do anything about that okay. but but there is so much more that you know okay. that the telcos did and that's what i divided into three parts that is where the data they are handling becomes right. very crucial and that's where uh, the security of that the ownership okay. of that on the consumers becomes so crucial yeah okay nikhil uh, you know first your comment on the overarching guidelines recommendations that the tri has put forward and just to take that point forward that we were making with saket the tri i also recommending that since we don't have a data protection framework uh, in place that is sufficient uh, today uh, what we should look at is the possibility of extending the license conditions of telecom service providers to apps browsers etc as well So I don't think it's about extending the license conditions, but they're saying that for the time being, until a law is in place, uh, the notification should yeah. be such that it, they apply to them. So that's not a license condition as such. But Shri, the yes. most important and most positive part of the TRI uh, the recommendations is giving users the ownership of their own data. Now we don't know how this is going to apply on a practical um, basis when it comes to apps and 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 devices that store data. 
But um, what the CRAI has yeah. given people is to revoke uh, consent, which is very important. There is no tick box mm. consent. Mm. They have the ability now, they should have the ability mm. to be pre installed apps. Uh, so, one factor which I think is really confusing is um, that they said that the right to be forgotten should be applicable to telecom operators. For me, that uh, right, so we can, yeah. if you look at the right to be forgotten law, that is only applicable to search mm. results and removals of some indexing of search results. So how this is going to be applicable to telcos okay. beats me. It, it does not make any sense uh, as far as I can see because right to deletion okay. of data is very different from the right to be forgotten. Telecom operators uh, don't have search right. results at all. That's what Google has. Um, but you know, okay. if you look at the most important aspect, is actually what is not there in this paper, in, in, in the recommendations, which the PRAI has which is? avoided commenting on, which is data localization. That is the raging debate yeah. at this point in time, given what the RBI is doing, given what's being said about the Sri Krishna report. There mm. is no mention mm. of data localization mm. in the final recommendations. So the PRAI has not taken a stand. Mm. Okay, the TRA are not taking a stand. Very quickly, Nikhil, what is your position on, on this very vexed issue of data localization? Uh, you know, MNCs are up in arms saying that this will in fact put India at a disadvantage. It will hurt India's competitiveness. The Reserve Bank is given till October uh, for at least yeah. payment operators to, uh, uh, to ensure that uh, data is localized. Your take on that? So, so, so if you have data localization that impacts the decentralized nature of the internet, Today, a startup can go and host their data anywhere else in the world, and yeah. therefore, they have the efficiency of scale uh, in, in operation there. So, this impacts the startup. From a user's perspective, mm. India is actually a less secure location to keep data because there is no privacy law. I, as a user, would be much more secure right. in the EU, which has very strong privacy protections for data, even if I'm not, a, um, even if yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. an EU citizen. So, unless India comes up with a strong data okay. protection law, there should be no localization even then. How does it matter which jurisdiction you are in if the law protects you there? What is the only reason why sure. we're pushing Sir. for data localization is for mass surveillance of citizens, which I don't think is the right reason to have data localization. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that, is, that is your conjecture, but uh, Saket, very quickly before I let you go, uh, you know, would you agree there with Nikhil uh, that uh, the TRAI has, has st stayed away uh, from this issue of localization and do you also agree uh, that data localization is not in the garb of privacy and protection uh, is not the best way forward? So the second answer first, Shireen, I totally agree with Nikhil. There needs to be the right kind of security uh, framework, privacy framework in place before you mandate localization of data because it can only make the matters worse because everybody will be forced to get their data in India, but then when a hack happens, you don't know what to do. It's not that you don't know what to do, but it's not sufficiently enough. Yeah. The second part of uh, whether, uh, you know, try is shying away from talking about it. Again, I think let's not talk about what it is not spoken because it's their call and they understand the regulation sure. in a better way. But from what is spoken, I, yeah. I, I'm very, very happy about that. And I just see a clear intent of talking okay. about how important security is and all the telcos need to look at it in the right way. All right, Sakit Modi Nikhil and Nikhil Pawar, appreciate you joining us here to talk about the TRI recommendations that have been put out just a short while ago.